Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to react to an article from Fox Business titled Americans Doubtful That Biden Will Deliver Student Loan Forgiveness in 2022 Paul Shows. So to be honest, I was thinking of different types of content that I could post to my channel and this is one of the things that I've found that kind of like work as well kind of like just giving my thoughts and opinions regarding an article about student loans and right now there hasn't been any big moves in the student loan world so you know might as well give you some sort of updates on some news regarding what's been happening and i really do hope that this sort of article and content kind of like gives value to you so let's just jump right in it so let's start here as a presidential candidate joe biden advocated for canceling ten thousand dollars worth of federal student loan debt per borrower but voters expressed little confidence that the president will deliver on this campaign promise in 2022 according to a january poll conducted by the economist and yougov while 21 percent of u.s adults said that biden will make some or a lot of progress in delivering student loan forgiveness this year the vast majority or 59 percent believe he will make little or no headway in canceling student debt now as you can actually see in their kind of like chart right over here there's a lot seven percent some 14 percent says only a little 20 percent and then none says 39 percent and not sure 19 percent so those are some big numbers you know but one thing to keep note though that's like actually like a poll from just 1500 us adults so you know it's not exactly i don't know if it's a cross section of america but 1500 is not exactly a very big amount of numbers so take this data with a grain of salt you know everything's not real with whatever you're reading in the internet but anyway this is a good thing that we can actually see this data but anyway the new data is released as democrats are ramping up pressure on the president to deliver on his campaign promise of canceling student debt ahead of the midterm elections now we've kind of like been on this journey before it's all about you know the politicians just keep talking about you know pressuring the president and the president i don't know being i don't know what he's doing really <laughs> to deliver his campaign promise on student loan cancellation we still haven't seen that much except for you know some cancellation here and there which is actually very good because at least those are helping other people get relief in some form or another and kudos to the president and the administration for actually doing that at least they're doing something which is better than nothing but anyway let's keep forward right here so it says here more americans support student loan forgiveness than oppose it which is to be honest come on guys it's actually <laughs> It's almost like stupid to actually have this sort of headline, but you know what? It works, you know, people are actually reading the article anyway. So student loan debt is a burden that weighs heavily on millions of borrowers who are eager to have their loan balances wiped clean. Widespread student loan forgiveness is popular among Americans, the poll shows, with nearly half or 49% supporting it and about a third, 35% in opposition. So you can see their pie chart right here. Do you support or oppose forgiving student loan debt from public colleges and universities? 49 says that they support it, 35% says that they oppose it, and then at least 17% are not sure. So I don't know what's up with the 17%. Maybe they're not exactly the people who have student loan debt. So we really don't know because like I said, it's just 1,500 US adults. Let's move over here. However, student debt forgiveness is a partisan issue that's split along party lines. About 70% of Democrats support forgiving student loan debt from public colleges and universities, while just 25% of Republicans said the same. This divide has made it difficult for President Biden to cancel student loans. While some progressives have urged the president to forgive student loan debt using executive action, the White House has previously indicated that Biden is waiting on Congress to enact student loan forgiveness legislation. Since Congress has been unable to deliver on other parts of Biden's agenda, including the Build Back Better spending bill, it would be difficult for lawmakers to pass student loan cancellation measures. Democrats hold a razor-thin 50-50 majority in the Senate, and it's unknown if more moderate Democrats would vote in favor of forgiving student debt. And there you go, this is the issue right here. A lot of the politician is basically on this sort of waiting game. A lot of people just don't see it, you know, very helpful, I guess. And I honestly don't know how they're actually processing the logic for this one. Uh, we all know that student loan debt is a very, very big issue here in the United States, but unfortunately, it's not that big of a deal yet, apparently. Now, this is just me thinking, but maybe it's because it's more of a personal responsibility taking on this debt. If you are actually going to school, make sure that you are going to take responsibility for the money that you're going to spend going to school. And I also believe that a lot of people will think that if people are going to get some sort of forgiveness, it's going to perpetuate this sort of 
financial irresponsibility so some sort so maybe that's one of the things that you know they're looking into so they're looking way ahead already and kind of like thinking of the effects for forgiveness while in the short term it's actually very very good because you know people are, will get relief of all those debt burdens that they have you know but maybe that's not also a good thing for some people so i really don't know i'm not much of an expert when it comes to student loans and also the student loan numbers and all the other disability things you know i'm not really good at that but you know that's what we're seeing right now a lot of people are actually struggling with student loans and hopefully there are some sort of actions that can be done to help alleviate those burdens and luckily there are some programs out there you can definitely check them out the borrower defense uh, there's also the PSLF or the public service loan forgiveness so check those out if you are in some sort of rut I guess when it comes to like student loan debt make sure to check those out get acquainted with those programs seek help if you are struggling with student loan debt so that at least you have the knowledge and you know be comforted by the fact that there are programs out there to help you out let's go ahead and continue this one 675,000 borrowers had student loans forgiven but broad relief is yet to come and you know like i said earlier there are people who have been helped already by some sort of relief by the administration which is really good so since biden took office the department of education has extended nearly 15 billion dollars worth of debt relief to about 675,000 borrowers through existing student loan forgiveness programs so here's who have qualified for debt cancellation under the Biden administration. So the first one is the Total and Permanent Disability Discharge or TPD. In August 2021, the Education Department announced that eligible borrowers would automatically qualify for a TPD discharge through existing data provided by the SSA. As a result, more than 400,000 borrowers with a Total and Permanent Disability had $7 billion worth of federal student loans forgiven. And this is one of the biggest, biggest kind of like student loan discharge that i've seen so far you know seven billion dollars worth of federal student loans were discharged so that's pretty good you know and this comes in really helpful to a lot of people who have struggled throughout the pandemic you know especially with those who have you know total and permanent disability so very nice that this has happened to us the next one that we have right here is the public service loan forgiveness or the pslf under this federal student loan repayment program eligible full-time public servants can have the remaining balance of their direct loans discharged after making 120 consecutive qualifying payments. The Biden administration overhauled this program in October 2021, which resulted in 70,000 borrowers receiving $5 billion worth of relief in 2021. This is another program that a lot of people need to look into, the Public Service Loan Forgiveness Program. In a nutshell, if you are in public service, then you qualify for this one. Make sure you just make 120 consecutive qualifying payments or basically 10 years of payments to your student loans and then you know the government will pay whatever is left basically discharging all of your student loan debts but what is crazy about this one is that they overhaul this program kind of like improving on it which is really nice because imagine having to make payments for this program and then you didn't actually qualify after let's just say nine or ten years just because of a technical issue with the program itself when you started the program they didn't make it clear to you what was going to happen if you missed this or you missed that and then you didn't qualify for the discharge so that's just really tragic and luckily they like i said earlier they fix the program not exactly fixed but at least you know tweak it to make it a little better overhaul the program and made sure that people who are responsible or institutions that are responsible of taking care of the public service loan forgiveness programs were kind of like quote unquote punished i don't really know what the term is but at least they are now more accountable and since the education system is broken especially with student loans this is something that needs to be fixed Anyway, moving forward, borrower defense to repayment. About 92,000 borrowers were misled by a school involved in misconduct, qualified for $1.5 billion under the borrower defense program. This includes borrowers who attended the Court Reporting Institute, ITT Technical Institute, Marinello Schools of Beauty, and Westwood College. And finally, closed school discharge. Another 115,000 ITT Tech students received $1.26 billion worth of student loan relief under the closed school discharge program. This round of loan discharges was granted to borrowers who left the now defunct institution on or after March 31, 2008 without completing their degree. So the ITT tech scandal was quite big as well actually. Just imagine $1.26 billion worth of student loans were canceled just because of this one. 115,000 students were defrauded by this school 
or at least because the school closed already so imagine you know like having to deal with this stuff you basically graduated or maybe not even graduated with a lot of student debt instead <laughs> so that's not really cool you know i think the silver lining with the pandemic is that it actually kind of like brought to surface a lot of the issues especially with the student loan system or the education system in general anyway i made a video talking about some of these things the borrower defense to repayment and also the closed school discharge make sure to check that video somewhere over here and you know what let's just wrap this up although many borrowers have qualified for student debt relief millions more still owe an outstanding student loan balance of 1.75 trillion dollars according to the federal reserve it's unclear whether biden will deliver the widespread debt forgiveness he campaigned on which means that some borrowers may be looking for alternative student loan repayment options anyway final thoughts for this one it's pretty crazy how big the issue is with student loans here in the u.s so hopefully that a lot of people will actually get some sort of relief and i do pray that the administration will do something about it because there's a lot of people who really need help when it comes to their student debt now it's pretty crazy because i was just thinking while reading some of this that i feel like if the Biden administration does not fulfill its campaign promise on canceling student debts or kind of like giving this widespread student loan cancellation you know before the year ends I would have probably even won by then because like I would have paid my student loans already so my target is to finish my student loans before the year ends and we'll just see who actually does the thing first it's either the Biden administration or me let's see if they make their promises first before I can pay off my student loans because if that actually happens then that means that I can probably save a lot more money because they'll pay or discharge a lot of my debt or most of my debt at least but I'm not actually hoping that it would happen because even if they fulfill the promise or you know there is some sort of widespread cancellation I feel like I might not qualify for it at all because it's pretty small I'm almost done and I feel like somebody else could use that benefit other than me because I right now I only have like around seven thousand or less than eight thousand dollars in student debt and like I said there might be other people out there who deserves it more than I do but anyway guys that's pretty much all I got for you if you have any questions regarding this article or if you have any thoughts about it let me know in the comments below I'd love to hear them you know read your comments and kind of like get to know a little bit more about your situation you know I'm not a financial advisor or financial planner I can't really talk about like you should do this or you should do that but at least I get to know some of your stories you know how you get into debt or how you're planning to pay for it because i might learn something from you as well if you like content just like this one by the way make sure to subscribe to the channel hit that notification bell so that you get updated whenever i post content just like this one and also please add me on instagram at daily dread add me there as a friend so that we can chat collaborate and maybe even exchange some ideas thank you again so much for watching the entire video have a wonderful day and i will see you in the next one bye